Sussex Police is the territorial police force responsible for policing the county of Sussex in southern England. Its headquarters is in Lewis, East Sussex. History Policing in the county can be traced back to the first force established in Brighton in 1830. A few years later on 13 March 1844 Chief Constable Henry Solomon was murdered in his office by a prisoner he was interviewing. He is believed to be the only chief officer to have suffered such a fate. Prior to 1830 local watchmen were appointed to provide some degree of law enforcement in the area. In 1812 there were some 12 watchmen who were responsible for the town. By 1814 the number had grown to 28 and at this time the title of constable was in use for them. By 1868 the force had grown to 100 officers and helmets replaced top hats. In 1918 the first woman was appointed as a police officer in this force and by 1930 it had grown to 216 officers. Brighton police were the first force to introduce police radios on 14 September 1933. Forces were also established for the counties of East Sussex and West Sussex, as well as separate forces in the boroughs of Brighton, Eastbourne and Hastings. These forces amalgamated temporarily during the Second World War, from 1943 until 1947 but then policing reverted to the old system for another two decades. Brighton Borough Police was abolished under the Police Act 1964 and became a part of Sussex Constabulary with Eastbourne Borough Police, Hastings Borough Police, West Sussex Constabulary and East West Sussex Constabulary. Under the same act, the amalgamated forces became Sussex Police, with this finally taking place on 1 January 1968. Chief Constables of Brighton Police Henry Solomon appointed 18 May 1838. Thomas Hayter Chase appointed the 22nd of May 1844. George White appointed the 21st of December 1853. Owen Crowhurst appointed the 7th of December 1876. Isaiah Bandon appointed the 8th of August 1877. James Terry appointed the 6th of April 1881. Thomas Carter appointed the 27th of January 1894. Sir William Gentle appointed the 26th of September 1901. Charles Griffin appointed the 5th of June 1920. William James Hutchinson appointed the 1st of December 1933. Charles Field Williams Ridge appointed the 1st of July 1956. Albert Edgar Rosell appointed the 28th of October 1957. William Thomas Cavey appointed the 8th of October 1963. Today, Sussex Police is commanded by Chief Constable Giles York. The remainder of the command team consists of Deputy Chief Constable Olivia Pinckney, Assistant Chief Constable Steve Barry, and Assistant Chief Constable Robin Smith. Also forming part of the command team are the Director of Human Resources and the Director of Finance although both of these roles are filled by civilian members of staff. The force consists of three divisions, each being led by a Chief Superintendent. As at April 2013 West Sussex was led by Chief Superintendent Martin Walker, East Sussex by Chief Superintendent Neil Honor and Brighton and Hove by Chief Superintendent Nev Kemp. Divisions are subdivided into districts, each led by a chief inspector, providing a local identity for policing. These districts are Chichester, Irun, Horsham, Arder and Worthing, Gatwick, Crawley, Mid-Sussex, Brighton and Hove, Wealdon, Lewis, Eastbourne, Rother and Hastings. Sussex police are also responsible for Gatwick Airport under the command of Superintendent Brian Bracker. Districts are further divided into neighborhood policing teams, each led by an inspector. The NPTs are responsible for the bulk of the community work undertaken in an area, and look to deal with long-term local issues including antisocial behavior. Their role stems from the traditional view of bobbies on the beat, with police community support officers providing a high visibility profile on the street, albeit with limited policing powers. 
Special constables may also be attached to NPTs, and due to budget cuts this is becoming increasingly common. Police response is covered by neighborhood response teams operating from a number of hub stations across the area and providing the initial response to most emergency and prompt attendance calls. These teams are led locally by a sergeant and overall they are managed by an inspector. These teams work 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Secondary investigation of crime not dealt with by specialist teams, for example SID, is managed by response investigation teams who work closely with the NRT. Police and Crime Commissioner Oversight of Sussex Police was provided by Sussex Police Authority until November 2012, when this role was taken over by a Police and Crime Commissioner following the first elections. Katie Bourne was elected Police and Crime Commissioner for Sussex Police on 15 November 2012, with a majority of 24,426. The Police and Crime Commissioner is scrutinized by the Sussex Police and Crime Panel, made up of elected councillors from the local authorities in the police area, specialist units, air support units Sussex Police used to operate an MD-902 helicopter, callsign Hotel 900 jointly with the South East Coast Ambulance Service providing both policing and emergency medical support to Sussex and beyond. This helicopter has now been transferred to the National Police Air Service and is currently based at Red Hill Aerodrome, covering the southeast region with the call sign NPAS-15. Counter-terrorism Sussex Police have a dedicated counter-terrorist intelligence unit which works alongside the rest of the force in protecting in, reassuring the public, and reducing the risk from terrorism. The unit engages with communities, local authorities, higher education and universities and other local bodies, in order to prevent violent extremism. The unit also offers specialist protective security advice to locations deemed to be at a greater risk from terrorism. CTIU are involved in the disruption and detection of terrorist activity and have close links between local police and the communities they serve. They also work at ports and airports alongside UK visas and immigration. Dog unit police dogs and their handlers are huge assets to the force and hold a vitally important role in safeguarding the whole of Sussex. General purpose dogs are one of the most effective means for tracking, chasing and detaining suspects, searching for stolen property and missing people, and assisting public order units with crowd control. Specialist search dogs are used for drug, cash and weapon recovery, for detecting explosives and for following the scent of a specific person. Dog handlers are also trained to deal with dangerous dogs. Emergency and Operations Planning The Emergency and Planning Team provides Sussex Police with the ability to plan for major incidents, natural disasters and large policing operations that occur throughout the communities of Sussex. The team delivers specialist equipment to frontline officers, staff for operations and tactical advice to police commanders. This helps to deliver the best service possible to the public during critical times. The team also has responsibilities with regards to business continuity, local resilience partnership working and contingency planning. Roads Policing Unit The Road Policing Unit cover the whole force from four bases. The primary aims of RPU are to deny criminals the use of the road, tackle antisocial driving such as mobile phone use and drink driving and to bring down the number of KSI casualties on the roads of Sussex. Vehicles in use include fully marked BMW 530D Touring Estates and Land Rover Discovery. Ford Galaxies are used by forensic collision investigation teams. These are based at Shoreham Police Station. They also use a number of unmarked vehicles of various types fitted with covert warning equipment. Specialist Search Unit Specialist Search Unit offices search where other police officers cannot go. They are trained to search in demanding environments that need specialist equipment, such as underwater, at height, 
in flooded areas as in the Lewis floods in 2000, and confined spaces. The team and experts in searching for missing people, stolen property, drugs, weapons and firearms. And they are also licensed to find and identify improvised explosive devices. A police boat is used by the unit to undertake marine patrols along the Sussex coastline and during diving operations. Tactical Firearms Unit Firearms officers are deployed to incidents involving the use of firearms or other lethal weapons either on a spontaneous or pre-planned basis. They are able to be deployed across all of Sussex, dealing with high-priority crimes such as drugs, burglary and violent crime. All Tactical Firearms officers are trained in conflict resolution methods meaning every incident is resolved using the minimum amount of force necessary. Non-lethal methods used by officers include the baton gun for firing rubber bullets and the taser stun gun. Officers are rigorously trained in threat assessment and perception, ready to make split-second decisions to protect the public against threats of violence. Officers are required to complete a two-year probationary. Period as firearms officers at Gatwick Airport after completing initial training. Sussex Police Authority Sussex Police Authority had nine councillors, three justices of the peace, and five independent members. In November 2012, elections were held for the first Police and Crime Commissioner for Sussex who will took office on the 22nd of November 2012. At that point the police authority ceased to exist. Old Police Cells Museum, opened on 4 May 2005 by Councillor Pat Drake, the Mayor of Brighton and Hove. The museum is located in the basement of Brighton Town Hall and offers an educational and entertaining insight into the history of policing within Sussex. It provides an opportunity to visit Brighton Borough a main police station for the period 1830 to 1967 and learn about the murder of Chief Constable Henry Solomon in 1844 by a prisoner. It's possible to view the old cells with their graffiti from the mods and rockers era, the policeman's washroom and uniform store areas, police memorabilia and artifacts. The museum also houses a unique collection of truncheons and tipstaffs, one of the largest in the country. This collection was made by Alderman Caffin throughout his lifetime and is on permanent loan to the museum from the Sussex Police Authority. Police Cadets Sussex Police, like many other forces in the UK, have police cadets. There are around 200 operational cadets in Sussex Police. Cadets within the VCC often have duties at police stations across Sussex. They have a similar uniform to non-operational police officers and police staff which consists of standard issue white shirt and black tie, black trousers, epaulette saying cadet and a visible rank designation, standard issue police cap with a blue band and Sussex police crest saying Sussex VCC, cadets learn many police skills as well as a student officer, syllabus in preparation for joining as an officer, they also assist at public events and displays, future plans. Proposals were made by the Home Secretary on 20 March 2006 to merge the force with Surrey Police forming a single strategic police force for Sussex and Surrey. Opposed by both Sussex Police and Surrey Police, the plans were effectively abandoned by the Home Office in July 2006. In a report published by HM Inspectorate of Constabulary in July 2011, the impact on the number of police officers and staff partly due to the reduction to Sussex Police's budget following the comprehensive spending review is as follows. In common with other UK forces, Sussex is being forced to save 20% from its budget by 2015. Whilst efforts are being made to minimise the impact of these cuts, inevitably there have been, and continue to be reductions in the numbers of warranted officers and police staff. In September 2010, Chief Constable Martin Richards announced plans to cut up to 1,050 police officers and staff over the following five years. 
saying that job cuts were inevitable as the force faced estimated budget cuts of £52 million by 2015. It was estimated that about 500 of the affected jobs would be police officers. On 10 May 2012, off-duty officers from Sussex Police joined an estimated 30,000 others from around the UK to protest at the cutbacks in a march through London. Sussex Police People In November 2011 Sussex Police became the first force worldwide to live stream unedited footage during a 24-hour period. Sussex Police Mobile App Published in March 2012 Sussex Police became the first force in the UK to launch a mobile-based app for reporting crime. Sussex Police Role of Honour A list of officers of Sussex Police and its predecessors who died on duty is provided by the National Police Charity. The Police Role of Honour Trust Key to Rank Abbreviations a. X equals acting CC equals Chief Constable ACC equals Assistant Chief Constable CEO equals Civilian Explosives Officer CMDR equals Commander DC equals Detective Constable DI equals Detective Inspector DS equals Detective Sergeant INSP equals Inspector PCE equals Police Constable Sergeant equals Sergeant SPC equals Special Police Constable STN Sergeant equals Station Sergeant Supt equals Superintendent WPC equals Woman Police Constable WRC equals War Reserve Constable Road Casualties in Sussex as well as preventing and detecting crime, Sussex Police have a responsibility to reduce the number of casualties on the roads. Additionally, in her 2012 PCC election manifesto, Katie Bourne said that the biggest issue raised in her Sussex crime survey was road safety. Katie will encourage the police to target accident, black spots and high-risk drivers and continue Operation Crackdown to tackle antisocial driving. The following table shows the combined total figures for the number of casualties on the roads of East Sussex. West Sussex, and Brighton and Hove for the most recent five years for which data is available.